Hey friends, I am back with a haul video today. I have not done one of these in quite some time. I'm kind of proud of myself. But actually what inspired this haul was I was just going through my makeup jars, trying to sort of clean out things that I wasn't using. And one of my subscribers actually mentioned this to me, so thank you so much. I didn't even think about it. But I had had this Too Faced uh, bronzing powder that was too dark for me. And I was just going to throw it out because it's really, really old. But one of my viewers said, no, take it back to Sephora, even if you don't have your receipt or anything, like they'll still credit you. I brought that along with a bunch of other things that were just basically collecting dust. And I was like, I'm not using this and let's see if they're, they'll take it back. So long story short, I basically got $150 credit with all of the things that are returned and I bought myself some new goodies. So I'm just going to go ahead and share those with you now. So I've been on the hunt for a waterproof mascara, and I thought I'd give this a try. This is the Armani, I can get it open here. This is the Armani Eyes to Kill mascara in the waterproof version, and I've heard a lot of people rave about the regular one, so I don't know if this will be anything similar to it, but I'm going to give it a try. I did like the look of the wand. It kind of reminds me of the Heart Lights Camera Lashes, so I'm hoping that this will be a winner. If that fails, I also picked up this Anastasia Lash Genius Clear Waterproof Top Coat. And this is basically, I guess, like a clear mascara top coat that goes just right over your regular mascara. So you could essentially make any mascara that you have waterproof. And I'm just looking to prolong the life of my mascaras because it's summer and I find that a lot of things tend to break down and run in the summer heat. Next, I grabbed another Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush because I really love the one I have right now, the Dim Infusion, and this is the Luminous Blush. Oh, it's the first time I'm actually opening it and looking at it. They all look different, very unique. They're, none of them are exactly the same, and look at that freaking color. That is gorgeous. I've really been wanting a new blush. I'm not really like so in love with anything I have. The only, the blush that I tend to wear every day actually is the Dior Rosy Glow blush and it's sort of just a, like a light pale baby pink and I like that for the apples of my cheeks but not really like the whole cheekbone. So I just wanted to try something new and I oh, just take another look at this color. So gorgeous. Next, I've been seeing these float around on YouTube and Instagram. This is the Dior Attic Fluid Stick, and I got the color in Kiss Me. Of course, I always go for the baby pink, but this is supposed to be like a very high pigmented lip gloss, hence the name that it's a, it's like a lipstick. Sorry, I can't see, can't talk and swatch at the same time. Let's try to get a better swatch. There. But... Supposedly, one swipe, super opaque, goes on like a lipstick. It actually even looks like a little lipstick in this container here. I don't know if you can tell, but it's just very cute packaging, very Dior. Always love Dior products. So that's that. And then the last thing I got from Sephora, which I was definitely most excited about, is this Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze. This is their his bronzer. It actually only comes in one shade, so I'm a little nervous about whether or not it'll be a good color for me, but it seemed very similar to my Bobbi Brown bronzer because I swatched them both in the store. And it was very similar color to that. <sighs> really? The doorbell's ringing. Here back. What a hot mess. Okay, I'm back. So where were we? The Marc Jacobs bronzer. And I love on the back, it says, size does matter. And I mean, this is just... This is ridiculous. Let me show you something next to it for comparison. So this is the ambient lighting blush, and this is the bronzer. Kind of crazy. But anyway, what really kind of drew, drew me into this was the mirror, because I just was looking for a new compact mirror, and I thought, why not have an amazing bronzer to go along with it? But there's the mirror, there's the bronzer. It's a very, very light, bronze. So I think it'll work for me probably in the winter. And I mean, even, even now it'll work in the summer. I'll just have to build it up a bit. So that's the color. Um, it's called Tantric. <laughs> it only comes in one shade. So, you know, that's always a downer, but 
I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna give it a go. And now that I know that Sephora basically takes back anything, um, I'll definitely, you know, take advantage of that and not settle for products that I'm just not happy with. Like I'm gonna bring them back to the store if I'm not using them. There's just not enough space in my bathroom for unwanted products. Speaking of my bathroom, by the way, somebody did ask me to do an updated makeup uh, organization and tour kind of thing. I don't really have a huge area, but um, I will, I'll link my last one down below if you want to see it, but I have like a different setup now, which I'm actually a lot happier with, so I think I will film that soon. Let me know if anyone else is interested, but um, other than that, I actually did pick up a few things from Ulta about a week or two ago, so I'm, since this is a haul video, I'm just going to throw that in now as well. So the first thing from Ulta was this Steel Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner, and I have this in black, it's my favorite, but this is in the navy blue, and it's called Midnight, and that's the color just right there. Just a really dark navy blue, and I have used this already, and I really, really liked it. I like the color, it's just like subtle, but instead of black, you know, just sort of a hint of color, but not really, like, not as harsh as black, that's what I'm trying to say. And I think this can work for brown eye girls, blue eye girls, whichever, it's really, really pretty. I also discovered the most amazing concealer of life, and I really don't have any need for any other concealer ever again. I am so satisfied with this product. It is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, and this is waterproof. I have tested it out. It's true. It does work. You can go in the water with this. It does not budge. It's with. It's made with collagen and vitamin C and K, which vitamin K is great for underneath the eyes. So I have the shade Neutral Medium. This comes in a couple of different shades. It comes in sort of like a peachy bisque like color corrector, and then this is more of a natural like skin fleshy tone. And then there's a couple of darker shades too, I believe. <laughs> I'm not sure where else you can buy IT Cosmetics other than Ulta, but I highly, highly recommend this if you have dark circles under your eyes. Um, this is a lifesaver, and I'm just so thrilled with this purchase. Last but not least, I hopped on the bandwagon and got one of these babies. This is the Lorac Pro Palette, and it is just stunning. It has a really, really great selection of colors. Um, on the top, well wait, I'm holding it upside down, <laughs> but on the top here are all the matte shades and on the bottom are the shimmers. These shadows are so, so incredibly smooth and creamy. I think these are more creamy and blendable than the Urban Decay shadows, which I love, don't get me wrong, but this is a very good investment or purchase for someone who can't afford to buy all the naked palettes because this to me has, I mean, they are all warm toned. However, I think this is like a perfect blend of the Naked 1 meets Naked 3 palette because it has like all of your warm browns and golds, but it also has a couple of pinks and like mauve -y. this one's actually called mauve right there, but they have like those more pinky shades. It's definitely, it doesn't have as many as the Naked 3, but it's just, oh, I love this palette. I don't know why I didn't get it sooner. I'm just, I haven't, I'm like just recently been getting into eyeshadows. I don't know. In the past, I was, I really only had a couple of quads, but I'm really all about the palettes lately and I love her. Let me know if you want a more in-depth review and I could do swatches or maybe I'll throw it up on my blog. I have not been active on my blog in a while, which is a... That's okay because I've been giving YouTube more attention. I feel like I've been filming a lot lately and I hope you're liking my videos. But that was everything for my haul. I really hope that you enjoyed and it gave you a little inspiration um, on what to buy next time you're shopping. And stay tuned for my July favorites video. I will be announcing the winner of my giveaway in that and that will probably be the next video that I film and upload. But other than that, I will see you next time. Bye guys.